first thing I want to show you is how to navigate the errors and how to import classes. So let me delete the import statements here. When I delete it, IntelliJ IDEA of course does the compilation, showed me, shows me all the errors. One way to navigate to the error is of course you move your cursor around, but the simpler way is to press F2. So when you press F2, it navigates to the next error. And if I keep pressing F2, it'll keep going to the next error subsequently. And you can press Shift F2 to go to the previous error. So it'll come back up. Once you have navigated to this error, so if I press Alt Enter, it imported the linked list above in the import. You can see the import above. And uh, I can do the same thing. I press Alt Enter again. And it's asking me which map to import. It's the first one, so I'll press Alt Enter. For the set, I can again do Alt Enter. Now, without even moving the cursor, it is highlighting by an underline below the error. So, if I press Alt Enter, see that it's highlighting below the local date time. So, I can again press Alt Enter, it'll keep importing everything. Now let's see how to create variables. Uh, let's recreate the same variables which are declared above. For that, let me comment it using Control Slash. That will comment the line and will bring down the cursor to the next line to the same or follows so now let's say tweets equal to new if i press ctrl shift space it will show me all the options which are valid for tweets for tweets is of type map which you can see here above so it'll on the right hand side it will show me all the possible completions so in this case i want it to be an hash map so i'll just press ctrl shift enter which will fill in the brackets for me, the constructor for me, and the semicolon. And then I press shift enter to go to the next line. Again, let's do that for followers. New control shift space. That'll show me all the options. I want this option, so I'll just press control shift enter, shift enter to the next line. Okay, so let's revert back the code. Uh, so for reverting, I'll have to delete these. To delete the line, the command is control Y. That will delete it and to uncomment the lines the command is control slash which is the same command as commenting so it just toggles your commenting there's also a shortcut to duplicate the line that shortcut is control d and uh, so control y is for delete and control d is for duplicating it if you already know the name of the class that you want to initialize with you need not type control shift space in this case you can just type in say H A H N. it already showed you all the options possible options starting with ha uh, you can press ctrl shift enter it will auto complete that particular class for you now uh, you can also just use this with the camel case so you can say hash map it selects all the classes with h and m within it and uh, this auto completion is very useful even for variable names so let's say i want to create a variable of type say trapping rainwater class I press ctrl space it will give me the possible variable names for this class so it says water rainwater or trapping rainwater so let's say I want to have just water and I can say equal to new same thing ctrl shift space in this case uh, there is only single class of type trapping rainwater and that's why it didn't even give me the list of options to choose from it just auto completed that for me and this auto completion is also very useful for other types so let's say i want to create a time unit alt enter to import let's say my time is equal to i want to use assign it to seconds so in this case i can either say seconds directly and it knows within time unit there is a field called seconds or i can also use this where you have partial class name and partial field name and will do the searching for you. You can press Ctrl Shift Enter. You can also create the variables the other way around. So let me delete this variable and let's say I want to create a variable of type trapping rainwater. In that case I can do Ctrl Alt V here and it'll create a variable for me of that same type. And I can type the name, uh, say my water, press enter, it created the local variable for me. And this is called extracting a variable. Uh, you can also extract the fields and methods. So I can, instead of doing a control alt V, which is for variable, I can say control alt F, which is for field. So here also I'll press water, enter, 
and you must have observed that at the top it created a field called water and it assigned that particular class instance to the variable. Similarly, you can extract a piece of code as a method. So let's go down here. Let's comment this out. Let's go down here and uh, let's say I want to extract this three lines of code in a method. So I'll press Control Alt M, M for method. It'll ask me what should be the name of this method. I'll say maybe it's about extracting tweets. I'll press enter. So immediately it created a new method and it also passed the variable which was required or which, which was being used within the method. Once you've declared the variable, sometimes you need to split it into variable declaration and variable initialization. In that case, you can just press Alt Enter and the first option it gives is split into declaration and assignment. Press Enter. It'll create the variable separately. It'll initialize it separately and then you can move around this line wherever you want. Okay, so let me undo this. Now, if you want to join two lines in IntelliJ, uh, you can join two lines by Control Shift J and you must be wondering why do I not just delete this part. But while joining two lines, IntelliJ IDEA is smart enough to understand the context. So you see what just happened there? It understood that both the lines were referring to the same variable called myWater and it, that's why I joined it into a single declaration and assigned statement. So let's see that again. So if I press Alt Enter, I'll split it into declaration and assignment. And here, I'll say join these two lines, Control Shift J and join the two lines and it removed that extra variable. Control Space command that we use to guess the variable names, that is also applicable to method calls. So let's say there is, there is a variable called result of type list and I'm calling a method called add all on it. If I press control space here, it'll show me all the basic completions that I can call on this particular type of variable. So here, instead of add all, if I want to press, if I want to use add, I can press enter. But if you press enter, observe what happens. It adds that method in addition to whatever that was on the right side. So instead, what you want is you want to replace it. So instead of pressing enter, you press tab. When you press tab, it replaces the method name and that is applicable for any types of methods. So let's say instead of is empty, I want to say remove. So I'll not press enter, I'll just press tab and it will replace the is empty with the remove method. You must have kept seeing this uh, unused import at the top. One way to remove the unused imports is alt control O, which organizes the imports or optimizes the imports. But I don't use this. Uh, much what I instead use is control K which is for commit which you'll also see in the subsequent videos but whenever you commit there is a window uh, which gives you an option to optimize the imports before committing so you don't have to manually uh, ensure that all your files have the right imports uh, before committing it will optimize your imports okay uh, similarly if, if your code is not formatted properly let's say it's uh, like this and if you want to format it uh, one way to do is within your commit window itself there is a option to reformat your code so you don't have to do it manually but if you want to do it manually you can press Control alt l uh, while we are here let's try to rename this variable to rename uh, the, con the shortcut is you don't even have to select the whole word actually you can just say shift f6 and you can set it to say just map if you press enter you must have seen that it changed not only the variable name here but it also changed the variable name at the top and below wherever it was used and this is applicable not just for the variable names but also the method names so you can say uh, and it will update it and wherever the method was used even that call location will be updated and even rename the classes using shift f6 right it renamed the class Let's say there is a variable called user tweets and uh, which is of type linked list and I want to iterate over it. I can just say iter, press tab. This is a shortcut or an alias to create a for loop. So if I press tab, it will ask me what variables do I want to iterate over. It also shows me uh, the types of maps, the tweets and followers both are of type maps. So it will tell me that you can iterate over its key set, its values or entry set, right? And if you choose something else so let's say if I choose values and I press enter you'll see that 
on the left hand side it changed the corresponding type also so you don't have to manually type in the type of the variable so you enter the variable name press enter it goes to the right location so these are there are a couple of more there are two more aliases that you use one is if null so if i do ifn and press tab it will ask me what variable do you want to check the nullability for and i say user tweets okay let me do undo i can similarly do inn which is say if not null and i press enter and it will do user tweets not equal to null okay uh, there are two more which i use frequently one is s out which is system dot out dot println press tab and there is a sys error so it's system error and i can press tab it'll give me the expansion for that and there is also PSVM, so if, especially if you're doing small coding challenges, and you don't want to keep on typing the main method again, you can say PSVM and press tab, it'll expand its signature. Right? And all these templates you can find in the find action, which is control shift A and live templates. So if you type in live templates, select this option, it'll show you all these small shortcuts that you can use for iterations, for creating variables and as such. Uh, we briefly touched upon how we can use alt enter to optimize the imports so if there are no imports let's say i delete this line uh, it shows me that there is a problem with this class it's not imported i press alt enter and it will import it for me this alt enter is used everywhere in IntelliJ idea so let's say i want to create a class called task which implements runnable right i press ctrl shift enter a lot to complete the brackets for me and it shows me an error now here if I press alt enter it will tell me that either you can make the task class as abstract or you can implement the methods of runnable. I want to implement the methods of runnable there is only one method select this I will press enter so it created that method for me right. Uh, let's say here I want to say I want to create a method I, there is no such method here so again it shows an error I can press alt enter it will show me the options that I can use. The first option is to create the, a new method which is what i want so i'll press enter it asks me where do you want to create it i want to create it within this class itself enter and here if i say files dot read lines read all lines paths dot get here i'll give some path it doesn't matter let's say value control shift enter now there is an error here also now i can press alt enter and it'll Tell me there are two possibilities for since it's a checked exception either you have to add a throws clause or you have to surround it with try catch i'll choose the second one i press enter there's one more shortcut which is helpful in checking what are the parameters that a method accepts uh, it can be a constructor also so let's say i want to create a new thread pool executor right and uh, this has many overwritten constructors so i can say control p and it will show me the parameter info which is the type of par the parameter names the type of the parameter and the overloaded constructor so it will show me all the methods which are taking different kinds of parameters so this is applicable not just for this class constructor it is applicable for everything so let's say con I put control P here the add first is a method which takes object of type tweet uh, let's say tweets which I think is a list or a map so I can say control P so the get method takes uh, argument of type object so let me just organize this import uh, now my my favorite shortcut by and large in IntelliJ IDEA is scoped selection so if I want to select this particular method name I'll do control W it will do the selection if I want to uh, select the entire line I'll press control W once again and once again so it selected the whole line I can select everything in the curly braces by doing Ctrl W, pressing Ctrl W again, and so on and so forth. So if you keep pressing Ctrl W, it will extend the scope of your selections slowly. And it works the other way around also. So if you do Ctrl Shift W, it will decrease the scope of your selection. And if you have selected a particular method, which I've done here, you can move this method around using Alt Shift and Up Arrow, right? Can move the entire method around you do not have to cut and paste uh, you can also move it around using control shift up 
this skips the methods entirely so it doesn't do it one line at a time it just directly jumps one method at a time so if you want to see what are the methods for this particular class you can press ctrl f12 that will show you all the methods in this class if you press ctrl f12 again within this window it will show you all the methods which belong to the super class also so this showed you uh, the ones from the object the two string weight notify and such so if you have a hierarchy which is quite long you can see all of them and you can start typing here also and search through all those methods right this is one way to navigate through the methods the other way is say if you are at the top and if you want to go through methods one at a time you can say alt down arrow so when you say alt down arrow it goes through one method at a time and similarly if you do alt up arrow it will go one method at a time now there's one more thing that i think i missed which is if you want to override a particular method of the superclass, you can press Ctrl O and this will show you all the applicable methods that you can override. So now since we have already uh, overridden run method, it's not showing us the run option. It is showing us all the ones from object class. Let's say I want to override string. I can override string this way. Also while navigating, you generally want to go within the class or open the type of variable so let's say you are at this method at the bottom of tweets which is a type of field variable you don't know what this type of tweets is so you can do control b control b will take you to the declaration position so and you can press control alt left arrow which will bring you back to where you were in that position and uh, you can press this control alt left arrow again and again and see sequentially take you to every position that you were in this declaration part of control b let's say i want to see what followers type is i can do control b it takes me here this also works uh, for individual classes so if i want to see the source code of linked list i can press control b it'll open the source code for the linked list class again i press control alt left arrow that'll bring me back to where i was and this is especially useful for custom classes of course you don't need to see the source code of java classes but for custom classes it's quite helpful if you want to see where a particular class is used you can say Control alt 7 in this case it will show me the usages of this class so this class is used at these following places and if the larger the project the more important the shortcut becomes that's it for this video in the next video we'll look at all the advanced text editing shortcuts we can use in IntelliJ IDEA. Thanks for watching and all the shortcuts that I've mentioned in the video I've added in the description below.